Today we are in San Francisco spending the day at the three gardens of Golden Gate Park. The Japanese Tea Gardens, the San Francisco Botanical Gardens, and uh, the Conservatory of Flowers. You know us, we're always good for botanical gardens and I'm always good for tea as long as I've already had my coffee. And if I've got my puffy on and I'm in front of a camera, you know I'm making a video. <laughs> And uh, it's summer in San Francisco, which is why you're wearing your puffy. Uh, what we might do actually is go join these folks doing some Tai Chi over here because I think we could all use a little Tai Chi in our lives right now. So we're here on the second Tuesday of the month, which is apparently a free day. We keep landing in places on the free days, which is really cool for our pocketbook. And so far it hasn't been super crowded, which is lovely, given that it's a 55 acre uh, botanical garden and park located in the uh, gardens of Golden Gate Park, which is a 501c3. Um, it has a private public partnership with uh, the city of San Francisco. And on staff, there are 10 gardeners. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, they have volunteers come and help with some of the maintenance, like the hand weeding. Who would not want to just come out here and pull weeds in this beautiful space? It looks like it's manpower and funding that's limiting uh, that right now. They want to manicure the wild. <laughs> Japanese Tea Gardens, which is part of the Gardens of Golden Gate Park. And this is about two miles from where I was born, about 30 miles from where I grew up, and about less than 30 miles from where we live now. I'm 54 years old, this is the first time I've ever been here. And this place is lovely.
So the Conservatory of Flowers uh, haven't been here since before they did the renovation. I don't even know when they did the renovation, but it's absolutely beautiful. And it just keeps going and going, and you can spend so much time looking at all the plants because they're so layered. And then in the cloud forest section, it actually goes to the ground and then builds up so that you feel like you're somewhat elevated. It's really well done, and don't worry, the sounds are recorded. There are not actually gorillas and monkeys crawling around this place, but it gives you a sense of what it would be like out in the wild. So what was your favorite part? Lily pads. Mm. It was like 36 inches across, and at the end it cups up. How about you? Um, I like the, the leaves that are multiple colors. There was one that had purple on the inside and then extended into green, and others that were pink on the outside that extended into green uh, on the inside. So, and the variegated, the, all the different varieties, I think, of the various different mm -hmm. leaves are absolutely beautiful, and it's, it's peaceful in here. Kennedy Drive, which is where the Conservatory of Flowers is on, is closed to uh, auto or vehicle traffic. Um, you can ride your bikes, you can rollerblade, scooters, walk. It's actually really fun. They've put in some sculptures, they've put in um, some games and stuff. What is it called? The Golden Mile or mm -hmm. something like that. And then parallel to it, not too far from the conservatory, is this beautiful path. Um, with just, it looks like a, a bit of a jungle walking through here. And it's very hard to believe that we are in San Francisco, in the middle, middle of a major metropolitan city. And then right by that cool little path, right by John F. Kennedy, Kennedy Drive, is this beautiful lily pond. It does look like it needs a few koi in there to clean up some of the green debris on top. We need to add a few, uh, few members of the cycle of life. Spending the day doing the gardens of Golden Gate Park and going to the Japanese Tea Garden, to the Conservatory of Flowers, and to the Botanical Gardens. One thing that I think we are both convinced of is that we need to be spending more time in Golden Gate Park. I don't think I realized that parking underneath the Diang or under the Academy of Sciences got us so central in Golden Gate Park to be able to do and see so much. And also, this means that we're going to do a part two because right here is the De Young Museum, which we are members of the Fine Art Museums of San Francisco. And there's some exhibits that I want to see. And then right over there is the Academy of Sciences. And you can't miss going to see the butterflies at the Academy of Sciences. We travel the world. It's right in our own backyard. <laughs>